I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a long time since I've done a true Iron Shad run. Let's see how hard the spider is after you're rusty. Another try. Okay, but now I don't get a, a whale bonus. Alright, this is not the best start. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Um... Well, we could snipe. You know what? I see uh, I see a lot of events. It looks like a snipe could happen. I'm feeling eager. Let's go for it. Like old times. Is it just me or the cards seem bigger? The cards seem bigger. It, it, has it been that long? Uh, yeah, it's been that long. Right, let's take an anger. Oh wait, before you take anger, guys, always check who's the boss. Whatever. Anger against guardian isn't the best. All right, no strike. Although now, now I gotta think. What if I want perfected strike deck? Hmm. Hmm. Eh. Let's go. Okay, we have one more chance at the next event. Please do not be an enemy. Okay, am I the only person that think Cleave's okay? I think Cleave's a good AoE early game Act 1 card. Dark Embrace is one of those cards you don't take till like Act 2, right? Alright, guys. We Here it is. Please, that's actually really good. So we're going against the Guardian, and Guardian, you attest your defense. And having two upgraded defense is actually incredible. Like, oh my god, that's incredible. Not to mention, I took HP damage. And what am I going to do? I'm going to heal for free with my Burning Blood and Niaz Lament. So let's go ahead and please RN Jesus. Nice. Okay, now this could be really good as well. I'm feeling lucky right now. I'm feeling extremely lucky. Bludgeon. Whoa! What the fuck? Feeling lucky, he said. I'm also gonna get this one. Ready? Okay, you guys want armaments? Or do you guys want metallicize? Fuck. I kind of want to metallicize. But we got a bludgeon. You know what? Bludgeon anger? Not bad. Before we click the war paint, let's go ahead and see what we get. Yeah, Metallus is pretty good against the Guardian, exactly. Intimidate, Fire Breathing, Infernal Blade. Alright, this is probably a skip. Now, if I skip, that means the war paint's gonna upgrade my other two defense. Guys, I'm gonna have a deck full of upgraded defense, which is incredible. However, it must be noted that that event that says upgrade all strikes and defense, a little bit worse. But fire breathing, okay, let's talk about this for a second. Look at this, guys. One, two, three, four elites. All right? Four freaking elites. And you're telling me that if I don't, if I take fire breathing, I'm going to find the sentries, right? And if I'm going to find the sentries, maybe fire breathing is okay. It also has some play in Act 2. It's a curse otherwise, though. But is it worth it just for the sentries? That's four elites. Now, nah, I feel like my biggest enemy is the um, my biggest enemy is Lagavulin, right? I'm doing it. I don't know if the. Okay. I wasn't sure of the over under of like defending versus attacking, but gorgeous. Okay. No side rex extension. I can put that on, but now I, does that does that invalidate the run if I put it on after the fact? Okay. None of these cards I'm taking, I don't think. Unless you guys are like wild strike, fire breathing, the ultimate combo. Said no one ever. Burning Pact is kind of cool if I had the energy. Like, well, I'll try fire breathing. Yeah, okay. All right, boys. First elite. 
I would have loved an early bludgeon. Now, I have a question. Would you do skill potion and, and hope for shockwave? Because shockwave would really increase my... Like, if you're going to do skill potion, you should do it now, right? If you want to use a potion for this fight, you do it now. But... I'm unsure that... Uh, skill potion for lack of bullying, but ha here's the question. What if I get a potion... Hmm, let me think about this. I want it to be intuitive and natural and not so overbearingly thoughtful. But I also want to make sure I make a rational decision here. Um, I think I think I'm doing this. Everything's aligning, baby. Everything's aligning. Anchor. Battle Trance. Oh my. Alright, what's next? Four Elite. Okay, um, is this going to be a five Elite Act 1? Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. What is it going to be? Okay, there's a little bit of a life. I, if I save this skill potion for the Onithopter, I gain 5 HP, whatever. Is that worth keeping? Uh, yeah, it is. That's worth. Alright, next one. Lagavulin. Alright, so what we want is Bash before the Bludgeon. Instead, we got Bludgeon and Bash. Okay. Um. Sure. A couple of things we could do here. Here's what we could do. We can get Fire Breathing out of the deck. And use Bash now. Wait for this to redraw. And on the next redraw, play Anger and then start fighting. Or I just bludgeon now and start the fight. Like, I have a lot of defense coming up. Bash, Fire Breathing. Bash is going to have one vulnerable on the following turn. But I don't really want to use that necessarily. I want to just get the Ascender's Bane out of my deck. And then I'm going to wait for Anger to show back up with Bludgeon, maybe. So the next redraw, I don't want to play anything. And then the following redraw, I want to redraw Bludgeon. Oh, my dog's barfing. Give me a second. Let's pause this thought. Pause this thought. Okay, so my deck's relatively small, right? My deck's relatively small. I have Battle Trance. So I'm going to take through my deck quickly. And yes, I can block next turn if the attack, because all my blocks coming up. However, I could also just stall and clean up my deck. Get rid of Ascender's Bane. Maybe add an Anger into the shuffle. And then no fire breathing. So then we're going to be drawing our block and our bludgeon, our block and our bludgeon, our block and our bludgeon. So my question is, is this extra 24 damage now? Plus I can block next turn, no problem. Is that increase? I'm trying to think. So next turn I draw nothing. Then the third turn I do nothing as well. Okay, the third turn I hopefully draw... Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I've decided. Okay, my goal was to use anger. I guess I can go now. I want to redraw into bludgeon, but this is fine. Because I, I, now I got the same start, but I have a Sunder's Bane and Fire Breathing out of my, my deck. It's fine. I like this. Question is do we do bludgeon and take 20 to the face, or do we block? Um, I think we bash anger defense, and then we redraw bludgeon. I'm not overly thinking about it, but it seems right. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So we have Havoc, Pummel, and Wild Strike. Well... I want triple sentry. Don't tell me I took this fire breathing. And I don't get triple sentry. That's gonna be the biggest slap in the face. These cards are not that great. Uh, personally, I'm not a big fan. I'm gonna skip. Like pummel's okay, but not good enough. Let's skip. Meal ticket. Let's go. All right, two more elites, boys. This is perfect use of um, of anchor. I was gonna attack, but I realized 
Bludgeon kills anyways, right? Okay, now this was a mistake. Because imagine if I attacked last turn. I had lethal. So in trying to save 3 life, I end up losing 10 more. And this, my friends, is why you don't... I mean, okay. Bludgeon would have killed. But instead, I take that much damage to the face. Okay, and now the game is saying, Hey, Jeremy. If you use weak pot, you save life from the attack, and you gain 5 HP, and we're going to troll you by giving you a potion when you had 10% chance to get a potion. The fuck? Game is trolling me right now. Because I didn't want to use my potion necessarily, but of course I would have saved life from the attack and the Ornithopter value, and that is so much value lost. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Alright, so we have Metallicize versus Uppercut. Yeah, we've been, we've been getting potions non-stop, right? They just gave me another potion, low chance. It's okay. Uppercut, Metallicize. Metallicize is good against the Guardian. Uppercut is good. Here's the problem with Uppercut that I have, personally. I would love Uppercut to upgrade it, right? But what's, what has upgrade priority in this deck? Right now, Bloodshot probably takes upgrade priority because it wants to do more damage. But if I take Uppercut, I probably want to prioritize that for the Weaken. The, question, the problem is I have Bash, Bludgeon, Uppercut. You guys are starting to see a pattern here that I have a way too much energy uh, cost. However, get an energy relic, maybe get a Sneko Y, and this deck is flying in Act 2. You think Metallic Sides if you have entry Sentries and Guardians to come? Well, for, let's talk about Sentries. Sentries, we have Fire Breathing, we have good defense. And we have good single target, so we can knock one of the Sentries out, and we have Fire Breathing. Sentries is not a problem. Talk about the Guardian. Against the Guardian, we have Metallicis versus Uppercut. One says Weaken, which is very good. The other says ah, Block, which is kind of the same mitigation of Weaken, except it's permanent. If it's Sneko, it's a God Run. I'm taking Metallicis. I actually like Essence of Steel more than Weaken. I, I wish I had the foresight to just use Weaken Pot. Knowing, imagine if you knew you were going to get a potion, right? Which is, okay, now I'm speaking of a secondary commentary. This is why White Beast Statue is actually so good. Because with White Beast, you know you're getting a potion, so using Weak Pot to save life is so much value. Okay, let's go again. One more, one more Elite. By the way, I didn't talk about the shop. I have 277 gold, and we have Meal Ticket. Maybe I should have considered the shop, right? I'm kind of rich. I have Meal Ticket. But look, here we go. Triple Sentry time. We have Fire Breathing. Surely we're going to draw it. We, we drew it. Alright, do you guys think I'm going to get a potion again? Yes or no? Because I'm tired of taking damage. But now it's like, okay, but I just got... A potion just dropped. And this weak potion is pretty good because I could use it for the Guardian to save life. Or I could use it against uh, Lagavulin. If I use it now, it's not going to last that long because this guy's only attacking... There's no way that drops a potion. There's no way it drops a potion. There's no way. There's no way it drops a potion. If it drops a potion, you guys feel free to BM me endlessly. And I mean endlessly. I could have killed this. Wait, why did I do that? I could have killed this with bludgeon anger, but this is fine. So every damage is 6, right? Alright, this is me trying to be big brain, but I might be being small brain. I'm trying to be big brain, but this might be small brain. Okay, huge brain, huge brain. Whoo, no potion, let's go. Alright boys, Fiendfire, Carnage, Sugar. Now these are some cards. Can we just take a moment... To say that these are some cards. And, okay, this is weird. Because Fiendfire is good. Because it can get rid of all my strikes. Alright, all my strikes. We have Battle Trance. Fiendfire, Battle Trance is a very good combo. And we can have a deck that is mainly defense. Defense, Bludge, and Anger. Defense, Bludge, and Anger. Defense, Bludge, and Anger. And that'll be my damage profile. Um, True Grit is a good card. If you upgrade, you can start thinning out your deck over time. Long period of time. I think it's going to be Fiendfire or Carnage. Carnage I like less, so I'm doing Fiendfire. 
All right, now we can open a fight with Metallicize or Fire Breathing. Now, I'll tell you this. In general, what is most important to start with? Like, okay, it's weird to start with Metallicize because I have Anchor, right? And with Anchor, you want to do damage because you already have Block covered. But if you want to start with Fire Breathing, how many fights do you actually want to play Fire Breathing? Um, fire Breathing is a card that if you're going to have it in your deck and you're playing around it, you want to play it as soon as possible, right? So what could I do with opening hand fire breathing that makes it worthwhile? It would be like um, a deck that includes Dark Embrace, uh, Evolve, Power Throughs, Second Winds, these kind of things. But in those situations, you'd rather have Evolve opening hand. You almost want to skip the bottle, right? It's because... Anchor Metallicize feels wrong, but at the same time, I can see a world where, okay, you get Metallicize and you have that block for the rest of the fight. So I will do Metallicize, because I can see merit in the future. I almost don't want to Battle Trance here, because I'd rather, because I already have cards I want to play, right? This is strange. I'll do it. So this is going to do Frail, right? If I remember correctly. Wow, these guys are rude. They are rude. But look at that, boys. Perfect fight. Please don't drop a potion. Please don't drop a potion. Please don't drop a potion. Nothing worse in this game than when you have Ornithopter and they drop potions. I, I kind of I kind of caused that myself. Like, you know, this is like a ripple effect of me not using this weak potion. It's been st it's stuck with me. But I just want to point out, we're about to do a 5 Elite Act 1, which I haven't, even in my heydays, I've barely done 5 Elite Act 1s. My first run back after 200 years and I have a 5 Elite Act 1. So this is, this is unusual, not to mention we're a little bit behind in upgrades, but we make up for that with the fact that we have four upgraded defense. Like this actual is going pretty well. But losing the potion value with Ornithopter, it, it, it makes me sad. Here's another situation where Metallic says turn one is completely awful. Because in any other, like for this fight you want Bash, Bludgeon, anything. This fight's going to hurt. This fight's gonna hurt. What's up, John Poach? Maybe, maybe later, yeah. Yowza, this fight's gonna hurt. The, the immediate punishment of Metallicis. I That's why I don't like taking Metallicis in general, by the way. Okay, so we thin out our defense, which is good for our, our redraws. If we get to a redraw, which we will. But it's also getting rid of strikes. So I have half a mind to do this. So that I can draw strike in the redraw. But do I want to draw strikes or don't want to draw angers? We, we want to draw angers, right? Okay, so my question is, is weak pot worth it? We, they've been dropping potions like wildfire. If I'm going to weak, I should use it now because next turn I'm going to take a damage to the face. Question is, do I need the weak for the boss? It's pretty good in the boss as well. I'm doing it. We have Bash next turn. So Bash can be very useful if I get Anger with it. Please get it Angers. Or just that. Beautiful. And we got the Potion. And we got Bag of Prep. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. So we have Dropkick offered to us. Is there a world where we ever think Fiendfire Battle Fiendfire Dropkick Infinite? By itself it makes no sense. But then we get like a um What's that called card? Dual wield? We get dual wield, right? Dual wield dropkick, and then we can have like, a, like our deck is small enough where I can see an infinite in the works. 
But is that too sweet? Is that too cute? Probably. It's probably too cute, right? One dual wielding can go infinite in some fights. Are any of you guys believers? Not really, right? What about uh, what about armaments? Let me ask you about armaments. What if instead of upgrading bludgeon, I just upgrade armaments? And now I have armaments battle trance in my deck for long fights, like bosses. And in the world where I get fusion hammer, if I get fusion hammer, armaments upgraded is a nice card to have in those situations. Plus, armaments plus with battle uh, bag of prep. It's kind of nice. You know what? I convinced myself. Bag of prep. Battle trance. Armaments plus. I don't know. Maybe armaments plus is pretty shit. Maybe maybe it's shit. Maybe it is. Because you'd rather maybe upgrade bludgeon. Or just up... Like, if you're going to have this, might as well maximize it as well, right? Because... Normally, you take armaments because you want to upgrade defense. My defense is already upgraded. Anyways. It's time to smith, right? We don't recall here. I'm kind of curious. Do you think we are, um... Worried about the boss that we use a uh, power pot? Yes or no? I should have mentioned there's a Namba between Armaments and Bludgeon. But, um... If I have Energy Relics, then that'll be sorted. Like, this is a very good Armaments turn. For the longevity of the fight. But for my own personal health, I don't want to not play Bludgeon because I'm going to take damage, right? So the way that my defense got upgraded, I got Warp Paint, and then I got an event that said upgrade two random cards. It chose two defense, and then, then I got Warp Paint. It was just very serendipitous. Like, Armaments is very good for the longevity of the fight. I'm worried that if I don't do Bludgeon, I'm going to take way too much damage. But I could always do... Yeah, I, I actually... So, I, I didn't see any campfires. If you notice my path, I, I fought five elites. The only campfire I got was right now. So, I just got an event and then the war pit. Um, I almost want to use power pot because when am I, I going to use power pot again? What's the upgraded berserk again, guys? What's the upgraded berserk? It's one, one vulnerable, right? Okay, I have a question. Would you rather do double strike or just do it and get Metalicized out of the way? Because if I do double strike, that means potentially I can get there with Bash Fiendfire. Maybe Armaments was... I think Armaments... Okay, maybe I made a mistake. Let's, let's talk about this. Maybe... Armaments is not going to leave me, right? It's still going to be in my deck. I didn't have to do it now. I could have just waited. I could have just waited until later on in the fight, where it's more apt. Because right now I could have just like done enough damage. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Maybe I didn't have to prioritize armaments, because... Okay, we never lose this fight. Let's just put it, let's put it that way. We never lose this fight, right? And the question is, does 9 damage make me go the distance? I doubt it. Yeah, but Bludgeon's a safe play. The Bludgeon's a safe play. In the very least, I don't think we take that much. We're taking more than we would have if we just done bludgeon. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. Because I have Fiend Fire and I want to get rid of some of this shit. However, I'm worried that with Battle Trends, I'm going to draw too many goodies. I, I want to draw into armaments, ideally. I'm going to draw. Please don't hit bludgeon. If it hits bludgeon, I'm sad. But at the same time, bludgeon's not too bad. Okay, wait. I drew armaments like, exactly like I wanted. Alright, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. Because what I could do is put upgraded anger in the deck. And then just get rid of the rest. How does that sound? Ideally, I want to be exhausting more strikes. So I want to have a deck that's like anger plus, defend pluses, and that's it.
Is Anger Plus even good in this fight? I mean, in a way, it's not that bad because I could just do like... You don't think Anger's good here? You think you'd rather just do Bludgeon? Bludgeon and... You think this is just a, um... Is this just like a bludgeon and bash win con and just block everything else? Probably, right? Something like this. Get an upgraded bash in the mix. D rinse repeat. Rinse repeat. I'll check this out. Now I can upgrade my bash. Yeah, Anchor Plus is good for thresholds, right? But I think since my whole deck is upgraded and my cards are so fantastic, we can get away with just bludgeon bash, bludgeon bash defense. Like so. I mean, this is incredible. This is, this is, my god, this is perfect. Dare I say this is beautiful? Jeez. Very nice. Look how much money we have, guys. You guys know I love money. So here's what I'm going to predict. Membership card, first shop. Apnea, thanks for the raid, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Corruption Reaper Demon Form. Well, you guys know I'm a sucker for corruption stuff. Reaper's interesting. I have no strength scaling. Demon form is interesting. I have no strength dumping. Okay, these are kind of shit. If, like, on the face of it, I would say these are pretty bad. Appreciate you, man. But corruption has ways to break the game. Demon form is okay if I get energy relic. Reaper doesn't feel good at all without the demon form or strength scaling in general. Corruption... I feel like Corruption is probably the one that has, I, I can hedge into the most, okay, it's, I think Corruption or Demon Form are the ones that can hedge into the most, I think Corruption has the most potential. Let's do it. Oh my god, so it's the Mark of Pain, Fire Breathing Kid. I should have talked about it, I should have talked about the fact that we Fire Breathing Mark of Pain, but I, what you, again, in that situation, you'd rather have Evolve. You'd rather have Evolve as your, your payout. Okay, and we got Runic Cube, which says, don't pick me, cool. And then we have Astrolabe, which is not bad, because in lieu of having energy, we have Corruption. So we can like get rid of three strikes, these strikes are terrible, get some good cards, and say, yes, I have Bludgeon and Fiendfire and expensive as cards, but I also have Corruption in the deck. So we can offset that. All the defenses are upgraded, which is bad. It's bad for corruption purposes. Like, man, these defenses got upgraded. Beautiful war paint, beautiful event, hitting my upgrade defense, powerhouse, five elite, act one. And now you're gonna take corruption and just get rid of the upgraded defense when they have so much repurpose. So that is a nombo. I personally don't like having upgraded defense and then a corruption to get rid of them. But if we're talking about energy purposes, corruption has served a different purpose because in these hallway fights, he doesn't care about longevity. So let's say you're having a boss fight. Okay, maybe I won't use corruption for a boss fight until the end of the fight. But for hallway fights, you pop the corruption, you pop your upgrade, your cheap, your, your, your zero cost defense, and you play your bludgeons, and you win the fight in a couple turns. That's how hallway fights work. So I think Astrolabe is the pick. As much as I'm a sucker for energy. Okay, there is some fire breathing. It's, let's do Astrolabe. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my all right guys we got some uh we got some side quests to do we have some side quests and i must say i must say that i never guys never in my life have i seen three upgraded rares maybe i have but it's is it just me or my return to slave spire they're almost like gifting me it's craziness three upgraded rares rather three rares are always upgraded whatever all right so we have a shop with a lot of money three elites Okay, we have options. Two events into Elite, Elite, Elite. See, the thing is, 
if I'm gonna do three elites, I want the shop right away. Because I have two feeds, I kind of want to get some ha hallway fights, right? So I'm thinking hallway fights and the shop, and then we go for these three elites. But I also have meal ticket, right? So let's take a look. What else do we have? We have three elites this way as well. I think an early shop into three elites seems nice, right? We have a lot of weird things going on. Fiend fire, fiends. Like you want a fiend fire sometimes to kill, but then you have feed in the mix. Then you have no energy for all of this. You have bludgeon. Bludgeon usually kills them. Bludgeon costs three. Feed. How are you going to bludgeon then feed? This is very awkward, right? This this deck looks... Okay, it maybe it doesn't look good at all, but what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of weird things going on. Like energy cost of Reaper is horrible. Theoretically, you can imagine a world where I get energy and then need some strength scaling Reaper, a bunch of max HP. This can come together, but right now it's like bludgeon, feed, fiend fire. All these are very awkward in practice. I feel like we're going to struggle. You think there's going to be shop in the event, you said. Um, nah, I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Fiendfire is good here because it just knocks one of the birds down. The problem is I have a couple of philosophies for this fight. I could do armaments and try to upgrade my mentality touch with a long fight, but I don't think the fight's going to be that long. I could just do Fiendfire... Anger, metallicize, and knock one of the birds down altogether so they can get ready for feed. But then I'm getting rid of my defense. Um, cleave is like probably an okay you, uh, thing to use in this fight. Is it just where this first turn is kind of hard? Am I overthinking it? Like I'm thinking cleave, anger, fiend fire. And keep those and then get rid of metallicize. I don't even care about metallicize. And then I want to feed this guy. And then just handle the rest. What do you guys think? Cleave anger fiend fire. And get rid of all my defensive options. Yeah, it's actually good. Wait, this is actually really smart. Because we have Reaper to heal first off if we need to. We also have meal tickets. So I can take damage here. Uh, I want, this is where we want the feed. You guys ready? Beautiful. Reaper feed. Bad or good? The alternative is strike, feed, defense. Probably better. Reaper has, wait, Reaper has the same, almost the same blocking properties of defend, no? But it does damage. Plus, I don't want it on the redraw because I want to make sure they're, they're getting fed. It's a situation where you want to do bludgeon into feed, but I can't. Alright, map time. Um, it doesn't work. Fuck. It's going to do not enough. So is this this corruption angle? Corruption angle or bash angle? I mean, uh, not bash angle. I mean, a uh, bludgeon angle. Uh, this is pretty good. We can knock both of them down now and then feed the last one. You ready? Okay, I lied. Instead, what I could do is um, take damage and then meal ticket. Who cares? Take damage and then meal ticket. Who cares? Two feeds in one fight is pretty good. That uh, was pretty, pretty good. And honestly, energy pot is fantastic because we have 
a short of energy right now. So if I want to use a potion for a fight that's difficult, energy pot is probably the one I want to use to get rid of all my cards. Beautiful. Entrench, I have a love affair of Entrench. This is not the deck for Entrench. Um, bye. Alright, meal ticket. Engage. Plus, a lot of money. Let's see. Now, I predicted membership card. There's a world where this was like... Thin out your deck, take Abacus, do Dropkick, go Infinite. Dropkick, Infinite, Abacus. I'm sure there was a world, but that world is not this world. Horncleat, is it worth $272? Horncleat, I have the ship combo. Never have to worry about block, use all my... But that's kind of weird because I kind of have block, like good block on the deck. So, I, yes, it frees up energy so I can just focus on using Bludgeon. But it's also weird because I have Metallicize, Armaments Plus, Upgraded Defense. My block profile is pretty good, but maybe that's not maybe that's not maybe that's not a good way to think about it. Maybe I should think about it like Horncleat gives you a certain amount of energy worth of block so that you can focus on other things. You're saying not worth it at all. If you think about it, my deck three of my attacks exhausts. So then my deck if I get rid of strike, I'm gonna end up uh, with a bash anger bludgeon deck. In fact, four of my attacks exhaust, and this attack exhausts other attacks. Theoretically, this, this is going to be a very small deck. Wait a minute. Guys, I actually think we go for Abacus. This is going to be really wild. Maybe I'm doing this for the YouTube content. If I do Abacus, I have Corruption. I have Fiendfire. Three of my other three of my other attacks exhaust. And then I got to just fish the Dropkicks Abacus. No, 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 no. So you guys actually buy Bull in this situation? You guys actually buy bull in this situation with two feeds in the deck. You predict I'm going to skip how much cards to make this worth it? I would have to skip. Ah, that, that that is bull is way too, bull is like literally the last thing on my radar personally. But I actually think advocate is interesting. The question is, do you guys think Horncleat is interesting? Or just wait for another shop. Knowing that we're about to fight a lot of elites. About to fight a lot of elites. If I wanted three elites, I think Hornkley is perfectly fine. That means I don't get to remove. But that's fine. My deck can remove that no problem. I have Fiendfire and stuff to handle that strike. I think Remove Strike is better than Hornkleet. I don't know. The question is, this gold is better used elsewhere, like on this next shop, personally. You know what? I'm going to be really greedy, guys. I'm going to be really greedy. I'm going to say, you know what? No. I'm going to save this money for this shop. In spite of the fact that I'm doing three elites. That's probably way too greedy, isn't it? Like, if you're going to fight three elites, just take the horn cleat, get as, use as much of your resources as possible, and get three relics from these fights. Let's go. I see, I wish I had energy, because I so badly want to do Armin's Bludgeon. In fact, this might be a situation where I use Energy Pot, because what's my, what's my potion drop chance? It's a little wasteful, right? It's a little wasteful, but if I do this now, it gets him closer to the, the feed range. Like, I really want to use Energy Pot here. But I, I have two more fights before I fight at the first Elite, which means I'm probably going to find a potion in these next two fights. It doesn't give me only top two value. Like, there's a lot of things going wrong with this play. I don't get only top two value. If, I, if they don't drop a potion in time, it's pretty bad. Etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I could do corruption or I could just get rid of everything. And now I just try to get bludgeon into feed and we win. Abacus came in clutch. So now I can do bash defense because Abacus was huge. And now I can get double feed for the win. Gorgeous. Fucking gorgeous. We're, going, we're doing well, Superman. 
Abacus was beautiful there. All right. We're getting a lot of our block from our relic, which I, I appreciate. We have Pommel Strike versus Skip. Um, Pommel Strike is good if I can, if it was upgraded, but a non-green Pommel Strike definitely doesn't seem worth it, right? I know we can consider the fact that Armin's can hit it, but this feels like a skip. Ah, but the Abacus Pommel Infinite. Let's think about it. A single Pommel Strike draws itself? This is like... It's setting up potential infinite. Because remember, infinite is on the horizon. In some fashion. Okay. You know what? You guys convinced me. Was it, was it right? Probably not. But you guys convinced me. I shouldn't have put that in. Because now... I'm, yeah. Alright. I think this is a corruption angle, isn't it? This is a corruption angle, isn't it? I mean, I could utilize the block and do damage now. So this, this is something worth considering. If I do this damage now, I take some damage to the face, but I put her closer to feed range. Which is important. Or I can just upgrade the deck, get corruption out of the deck, and then. Problem is, next turn I don't have a lot of block. Like, I should utilize the block I have now and do damage, no? Um, but this is also a good turn to get corruption out and get it out of the deck. The problem is, how, how much is corruption doing for me? I'm weakened next turn, so I don't even think I can kill next turn. And Fiend Fire and Feed is a is a nombo. I get one defense out of it. Palm Strike could draw into it. This feels This feels wrong. I probably shouldn't be taking too much time here, but this is probably not a moment to think think tank. But I can see a world where this is worth it. Ah, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Make sure I'm taking damage to the face badly, right? Because this thing attacks 8 times 3 twice. And if I, if I can kill without thinking about the fact that feed is a thing... Yeah, I can't kill. Maybe it wasn't worth wasting defend because it wasn't that like... Right, let's draw. Let's go ahead and get one of the feeds out of the deck, right? I guess the theory is to get one of the feeds out of the deck. It's gonna be hard to draw the next feed, but we still gotta do damage somehow, right? Maybe I should just not do this damage while I'm while I'm weakened. It's like, how important is that damage when I'm like here? I would like to do. I think I'm gonna have to kill a Bludgeon if I want to save my life. Or here's what I could do: I could battle trance now, so that I play Bludgeon and then I can redraw the feed. I'm gonna do this. I think this is better. I want to redraw the feed. Promise I'm gonna draw way too many angers, isn't it? I'm probably gonna draw way too many angers. But the goal is to get feed. Ah, uh, you guys, you guys are greedy for feed here, right? Like, who's not greedy for feed here? Who in the right mind doesn't greet for feed here? Maybe a smart player? Oh 
my god. Shockwave has arrived. Now, Battle Trend, some, sorry, Body Slam sometimes has some, uh, so ba Body Slam's already upgraded, and some, okay, I gotta say, Body Slam's interesting, wait a minute, wait a minute, Body Slam's interesting. We have Hornkley, we have Anchor, and we have, there are some situations where we have Corruption, and Corruption gives you a lot of surplus of block, and then you just finish with Body Slam. So Body Slam is sort of interesting, with my, my boots, my abacus, my boots, sorry, not my boots, my, my boat, my boats, and my abacus, plus the fact that sometimes Corruption gives you surplus of block. But Shockwave is incredible, and I need that. Especially with Corruption to make it free. Okay. Alright, boys. Two elites coming up. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I want double feed in this fight. This is a situation where I, I, I would like to draw into Corruption so I can play Shockwave and... Uh, or maybe I just do Bludgeon. This is tough. Because I got to think what's more important. The Shockwave? Shockwave Metallicize? Shockwave Cleave? Or just Bludgeon? Or do we try to draw into Armaments, for instance? Which is probably very good. I think we always draw here because Armaments is so good. Okay. I'm kind of of the mind to just do Bludgeon. Straight up. Do we want her to heal? The question is, do we want her to heal? This is horrible. This is so fu- This is the worst draw ever. Well, why would I want her to heal, necessarily? I'd rather be taking damage, right? I think we played this bad. We'd rather be taking damage because we have Horncleat, so we want to take advantage of Horncleat. And our draws are nothing but blocks and randomness. And I don't want to use feed because... I have two feeds, I want two feeds. But vulnerable doesn't do anything because I'm not actually attacking, right? Whereas I guess I could have set up for just metallicize or maybe just do bludgeon and just take the damage to the face because I can, I can actually block. Okay, this is probably hindsight, but maybe it's more so like I didn't focus on the fact that I was drawing so shittily. Because my next draw is even worse. Do we want to do corruption this fight? Probably. Probably okay with corruption this fight. The vulnerable is gonna be gone now, so I won't get to get the Reaper vulnerable if I take damage here, which I'm going to take damage. Okay, but I, I can get Reaper out, out of this now. Ah, <clears throat> I don't like how I play this fight. Fiendfire, Feed, Nambo. I might, just have to, I might just have to accept it. I might just have to accept the Fiendfire, Feed, Nambo, huh? But then, then I, I'm gonna have trouble killing her. Ah, I can just bludgeon feed her, I guess. Sometimes in life you have to accept the Nambo, right? I wanted to get a Reaper heal. I played this fight wrong for sure, though. I don't know if the first one would have made that much of a difference differently. Like, let's say if I just do budget instead. Who knows?
Feed fire, kill, and then boom. Now I have to 1v1 her. I don't have that much defense left in my deck. I don't have a <laughs> I don't have metallicize in play. But I can still probably be fine with the 1v1, I guess. The problem is I'm taking damage here. Like, I'm going to the elite, and, I, and I'm not full life, because I haven't reapered off of them. But we should be fine. We have potions for the next fight. We're fine, right? Uh, okay, I guess we just kill. Unless we think Reaper can come back and heal more than what I'm taking now, which it can't on average. It won't. Oh my god, we got Dark Embrace plus versus Disarm. Disarm is great for like Book of Stabbing in some fights. But Dark Embrace plus with Corruption in the deck and Abacus and all these beautiful things that... Yes. Yes, please. All right, boys. Are we in shape to do the Elites? This is getting close, guys. It's getting close to... like. This is getting close to being some crazy stuff going on here. I like it. Oh, I have a question. What is better? Do a campfire into these two elites? Into that shop? Or just do two elites? In, like, Isn't it just always better to do a campfire into two elites like that? To have more prepared? Oh, you guys want to do three elites? Yeah, 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 yeah. Three elites. Three elites. Three elites. Three elites. I take it back. Three elites is not good here. Wait, I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Three elites is not good here. I'm not prepared. And, you know, I got baited by chat. You know, they say one thing. And, okay. I guess the upgrade would be Shockwave or Bludgeon for me. Bludgeon, Fiendfire, or Shockwave. But what, what exactly is the upgrade? I think Shockwave might be the upgrade. No, nah, maybe bludgeon. Nah, I think shockwave. Yeah, shockwave would be the upgrade. Okay, this fight is interesting. By interesting, I mean this fight is kind of hard. I feel like Metallica is too slow. Okay, we're taking twenty-nine. Do we try to block the damage, or we just try to do damage? What's up, Kai? How you doing? All right, is it ever... Should we just fully attack Slaver? Or do you want to have an element of mix? Because, like, we can kill Slaver with... It's hard to kill the Slaver with Bludgeon. I don't know if Potion's worth it here. Because we have playable cards. The only reason Potion would be worth it is to find Corruption. Now, what are the odds that we find corruption with this potion? Not very high. Metallica is probably okay for the fight, but I feel like this fight... Is the fight going to go three turns? It will, right? So what do you guys think about Metallica's Cleave? Metallicized Cleef. Okay, I, I should mention that that puts us out of bludgeon range, which is bad. And I'm weakened. Wait, that was bad. I got saved by the bell. I'm weakened. I can do Reaper when, when I'm not weakened, right? This is this is healing for a shit ton. But I don't want this girl to, to make me not be able to play. I mean, theoretically, I get Abacus next turn. 
Abacus next turn and ah, uh, let's kill her. Let's kill her, right? Let's kill her. Let's kill her. Man, Bludgeon is so close. If I draw Anger, we got it, right? Now, Anger doesn't do it either. Anger doesn't do it either, huh? Anger does do it. Anger does it. Well, then we don't get feed. Okay. If we do Dark Embrace, it doesn't do anything. Do we have Fire Breathing in play? Wait, is this unironically Fire Breathing? Look how many wounds we have. If I do Fire Breathing, then the Bludgeon Anger is out of the picture. So I have a question. Is this a draw pot angle? To give us more options. Or do you guys not want to waste your draw pot? Because I want to keep bludgeon on the table. Bludgeon anger on the table. Maybe this I okay, but we get Reaper in the mix. So we get one less feed in this fight, but we finish the fight. Man, why is the deck so expensive? I kind of want to draw into armaments. What for? I really want to play Dark Embrace. Sorry, I really want to play Fire Breathing. I just don't have energy for what I want to do. I imagine if I had Draw Putt here. Or if I didn't use the draw earlier. Like the speed. Both my feeds in the same turn? Are you kidding me? You fuck. Are yeah, you fuck? Alright, but let's be honest. We are never redrawing feed, right? With all these wounds. It's a little depressing that we lose our Reaper value and our feed value, but that's kind of expected with a deck like this that has such awkward energy costs. And we're never drawing feedback, anyways. It's kind of sad. It's very sad. I think I played that all wrong. All right, does Hemokinesis strike you guys as interesting? Does something that says 20 damage lose two HP, is that interesting? I mean, it's energy efficient, if nothing else. So do we like an energy efficient green attack? It could help my feed, it could help my feed like quests. Matryoshka. All right, and the upgrade is... Now, I have a question. Is the upgrade corruption so we have more energy to do things? Is the upgrade shockwave so it lasts longer? Or is the upgrade bludgeon or fiend fire? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Corruption so we have more energy to do things? Bludgeon for sure, you think? What, struck, what are we struggling with? We're struggling with energy, right? How often would a Corruption Plus help us do more in a turn? The problem with Fiend Fire is I have so many important targets that I'm, I'm much more hesitant to use Fiend Fire in, on average. I'm going to go with the Energy Gut. But 
you know, the reason why that's a little bit weird is because armaments, I often armaments handles it for me, but I'm gonna, I like having the option of having the energy, uh, alright, I don't like this fight. I wish I had Shockwave. Okay, I wish I had Shockwave upgraded is what I mean. I actually wish I upgraded Shockwave. Now that I, did I mention that I want to upgrade Shockwave? I did, right? This is bad. This is bad. This fight terrifies me. This might be this might be a fire breathing uh save the wheel. Shocker Plus would be sick here. Okay, okay. Think it'll be fine. What if I look for armaments right now? Boom, boom. And the goal is to not use Shockwave now, but instead upgrade and metallicize and everything else. It's a little crazy, huh? So we're willingly taking a wound. I have a question. Is this wound worth taking? To get the metallicized out. With fiend fire to thin it out, and plus the fact that we have like well, our neck draws are tear. I, we have no okay. But luckily, we have horn cleat. Luckily, we have horn cleat. Okay, maybe I can upgrade the fire breathing. Maybe fire maybe fire breathing will hard carry here. Okay, none of those things say fire breathing. But we have Corruption and Dark Embrace, with no skills, by the way. I have half a mind to play... Corruption Hemo, but I'm kinda thinking, what if I just play Fiend, Feed, Feed Hemo? Corruption Dark Embrace is great, it's just I don't actually have any skills coming up. This is a this is a block potion angle. I would love to have fire breathing upgraded. I think I want to get all my setup out now. So I want to get dark embrace, fire breathing, block pot. I think setup here makes sense, right? Couple of wounds. Got an abacus in the mix. And now we got a fiend fire. This is an incredible turn to do fiend fire. It's not vulnerable, but whatever. The best thing ever would to be draw into um into armaments, right? I'ma try. Okay, that means I'm getting rid of my bludgeon. Is that bad? Well, we can make up for damage with the fact that we have fire breathing and we have upgraded angers for damage. That should be good enough, right? Upgraded Angers plus Fire Breathing should be a good. No Dark Embrace. I would have been... Maybe, maybe I should have done Fiend Fire. Okay, you know, maybe I was not supposed to do the... Um, All right, are we going to redraw into... Okay, actually, it's kind of worrisome because if I do Hemokinesis, he dies to Fire Breathing. But we want to kill with, we want to kill with Feed, right? Although, I feel like I'm taking too much damage here. Like, I had to fight another Elite after this and... 
Yeah, it's too much damage. 12. That's okay, I love when this happens. This, this is like classic Book of Stabbing. They give you the relic that would be good against him. I love that. I love this. Um, I love Ghost in the Armor. Do I love Ghost in the Armor? Okay, here's the thing. We have Corruption with Dark Embrace. That means put more skills in your deck, right? So just like s put Ghost in the Armor in your deck. It's a skill. We have Corruption. We have Dark Embrace. Is this a smart concept or do we think, okay, but wait a minute. We have Abacus. So the further the more cards we add, the further we get from Abacus. Yeah, but so, like, now we have Abacus, Corruption, Dark Embrace, kind of Nambo in a way. Matryoshka. Yes. Okay, I have a question. Is Nunchaku worth... It has to be. Because we're struggling with energy. We have Angers. We play attacks. Is Nunchaku worth the key or not? I mean... Let's take the puzzle. I feel like Nunchaku is probably worth because we do struggle with energy at the moment and we have like angers. What am I giving up though? What, what future relic am I giving up with this? Hmm. We need everything we can get because we're about to fight another elite, right? Oh, I can skip it. I can always skip the elite. What is this again? This just gives you a relic for a curse. Am I curse reverse? Because the thing is, we have. We have Fiendfire to get rid of it, and we have, um, I guess, Bag of Prep, so I'm not too worried about Writhe. It, ha it has to be a really sick relic, right? And you gotta think. There's a lot of shitty relics out there, right? But of course, if we're optimistic, we're like, hey, we're going to find the best relic in the game, but it's, it's probably not worth it. What relic would I see that, okay, if I get dark, if I get dead branch, then okay, it's obviously worth it. What else would be worth it? I feel like the amount of bad relics versus good are probably leave territory. What would a rusty Jeremy who's not risk averse do he would click yes he would click open the coffin but i don't think we're that strong okay let's talk about the bronze animated how are we winning this fight how are we winning bronze animated all right so we fought book of stab it's not gonna be book of stab again it could be slavers or it could be the Gremlin Leader. Um, are we even fit for another elite? We don't have potions. We're at 52 life. Another Slaver fight would devastate me. Slaver will devastate me with no potions. You think Leader is Cakewalk? And why is that? Why is Leader a Cakewalk? I can't, I can't manage the gremlins that well. I'm not even confident in my ability to, to one-shot the leader either. Uh, round, round two of the slavers... Uh, uh, fuck, with no potions? So you're telling me I took an inferior path, right? Because I was optimistic that I can get the third elite. But sometimes that doesn't work out. Sometimes in life you have to change plans, right? Because here this would have been better to get, elite, to get an upgrade before the fight, but whatever. Like, what is the risk of ruin here? Slavers. Slavers is rough. But now we have a centennial puzzle, a self forming clay, right? Which means corruption is going to be played into a big hand. Still don't know. 
This could be amazing, but you really want to skip out on the shop and the campfire. So I really want to go for shop, but do we even have that much gold? I mean, the shop also has meal ticket value. I think we always want to hit the shop here. Maybe get some more, more another, another look at a shop before we fight the, the boss. And not that much money, unfortunately, but it has meal ticket value, which to me, it seems worth it. You think I got this? <laughs> you think I got this? All right, if I lose... Okay, just real quick, before I click yes, slavers, what's my game plan for slavers? Try to bludgeon the, the, the red slaver and then just, <sighs> the slavers looks horrible. Shockwave Reaper, yeah, it, 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 it doesn't work out in practice, in theory. I mean, my draws are decent because of Sinter Buzzle and stuff, but... You know what? I have Hemokinesis. Hemokinesis is what solved it for me. Alright. So speaking of uh, Reaper, we could do Reaper now or we could do Corruption now. I mean, usually it's pretty good to do Corruption at the first... First uh, fight. The first hand of the fight, you know? First turn. Just heal 15. But we have corruption. Is corruption too early? Not really. Uh, do I have enough damage for the leader? I so badly, I so badly want to play Chemokinesis and corruption, but it ruins my Centennial Puzzle. Who, who cares about that? Do we care about that? I also kind of want to do Corruption Armaments and then just play Metallicize. I have so many things I want to do. Do we care about wasting our uh, uh, Centennial Puzzle? I'm thinking just Hemo Corruption and get one of these things out of the way. Gives me more time to set up, no? Because Armin's only upgrades Metallicize Fiend Fire, but I'm probably not going to play... I'm probably not going to play... My block situation is not bad because we have Hornkly coming up, right? I mean, theoretically, the Corruption is good to get now. Because Dark Embrace is in the deck. Our Block Series is pretty good. I'll play Corruption. Armaments is only upgrading Fiend Fire, which is worthwhile, but that's a decent that's a decent upgrade, right? Fiend Fire could be a decent way to kill the, the Gremlin Leader. But think about this, if we do Hemokinesis... play this better like I think chemo would have made my life easier but this is fine I guess what's what's better to kill the aggressive one like there's definitely different better ways to go about that fight because now I can't play dark and base I mean, I could. It's fine. I could. It's fine. I don't know. I, Armist doesn't seem worth it at all, guys, because it only upgrades Fiendfire, but I guess Fiendfire is sort of worth it for the kill later on. 
But Fiend Fire is good here in this situation, right? The alternative is to do Hemo. You get rid of your Centennial Puzzle, but you make it so you don't take infinite damage. Uh, I want to kill both of them. Hey, but if they get more strength, we're going to be fucked, aren't we? I think we're playing this all wrong. Like, we're, we're just going to be fucked now. Play this all wrong. Okay, I think I have to play Hemo because Hemo is like a good damage, but I, I think we gotta keep up Bash as well. So it's like a mix between. You mean I have to get rid of my Bludgeon? Like, how bad is that to get rid of my Bludgeon, dude? Obviously, Fiend Fire is incredible. Alright, I should probably do Hemo to kill one of these, but I also want to make sure that I can kill the kill the leader coming up, no? Like ideally we want to do a a Fiendfire lethal here. The goal is to kill a Fiendfire, which we upgraded, or the Bludgeon, or Angers. Like Hemo into Fiendfire stuff, but now he's not vulnerable anymore. So I would like to draw into Bash again. If I can draw into Bash, like, if I can redraw into Bash, then we can kill with Fiendfire, right? Fiendfire into Angers. But if I don't kill one of these, then... Like, we want to find Bash, right? The problem is Fiendfire, my whole deck's gone, so Fiendfire, I, I, Fiendfire Angers are basically how we kill. But I need Bash now, to win. Or draw Fiendfire now and it's ruined. But I need Bash, it's like... But I need Bash, is the question, is the problem. I do more damage now if I do the, the three attacks. Especially if I draw a card that costs one, right? If I draw a card that costs one... Well, no, I guess Bludgeon Hemo is the best, isn't it? But, like, I had lethal in space. I guess the, the goal is to get to draw into feed, right? So do you guys want to greed into feed? I can't greet into feed.
Lou Candle. Dual wield is here. That's how we win. We dual wield on pommel strike, right? Or the drop kick that we skipped. So that's how we win. Dual wield pommel strike is lethal? It's infinite, no? Dual wield pommel strike is infinite with abacus. How hard is that to set up? How hard is that to set up with the fact that I bloated my deck so much? Do a Reaper's trash. But do a Palma Strike. That's a yes. Alright. So with that being said, should we upgrade Palma Strike? To help find dual wield in the first place or to make the dual wield pump strike a, a legitimate out or am i putting too much stock into the pump strike dual wield um i think shock is usually the upgrade shock is actually not that good for this guy because this guy has artifacts right and i don't know i can get rid of the artifacts in time i want shock to hit but i don't think i can i mean i guess i don't need to upgrade pump strike for it to um it's hard to serve all these angers yeah it, yes but i can just not play anger right I only have one anger. I just cannot. I just don't play anger. And then we have a lot of cards that exhaust. And then we have fiend fire, and we have corruption. And then before you know it, boom, our deck is ready. Boom, our deck is ready. Fiend fire might be better for the next hallway fight, right? I think Shockwave is interesting because it's a very good upgrade, but it's not that good against the boss because there's so many artifacts, right? But it's still a really good upgrade for Act 3 as well. I do want to upgrade Bludgeon and Fiendfire at some point, but I think we're putting a lot of stock into our infinite combo here. In fact, even if I have to use Fairy in the bottle to get the last bit of infinite, I'll do it. But I think maybe I should have considered. All right, we'll get me. I'll take it here. It's a brimstone angle. It always was a brimstone angle. Here's what we do: brimstone, dual wield reaper. Yeah, you're gaining strength, but I'm gaining health. Now I'm kind of memeing, but let's think about brimstone reaper dual wield together. What is reaper good with? Demon form. Now imagine you had demon form on the first turn without playing it. Okay, the heart is like, hey man, I see that you have Brimstone, so you better kill me quickly because I'm gonna kick your ass. Brimstone is usually really risky against the heart, but I have kind of an Exodia deck in the work in the making. We have Corruption, Dark Embrace, Dual Wield Reapers, Couple more things we go before the heart, and all of a sudden, yeah, he, he gaining strength, but you know, I'm winning four or five turns. The other thing is, we don't really have that many strength dumpers, but we can we can fix that, no problem. Unironically, Brimstone, guys, versus just buying Impervious. Do a Reaper is trash unless you got Brimstone. But I need energy for all this. I don't have energy for any of this crap. I can spend I can spend hours over here actually. The only solution to the tomato. Which tomato? Who's the tomato? This is the tomato. Oh, we can, we're gonna we're gonna do a wield uh, infinite against him. I wonder if brimstone causes more problems than it helps me. Because theoretically, I can just do spot weakness and remove, and now I have spot weakness reaper in the deck. Not the most reliable source of scaling, but at least it's scaling. No, but we already talked about it. We have a solution right here. Do we'll do we'll, the palm strike is, is is infinite. It's fine. If we're gonna do it in flame, I'd rather do spot weakness. I'd rather have something that says, Oh, I can give you as much scaling as you want. So you can do do a wield reaper shenanigans. Because I like having the idea that in a fight, if I if I'm greedy enough, I can keep infinitely dual wielding Reaper and keep doing spot weaknesses and just keep healing up like a region tank.
How this would be really low, guys. I think we're going to beat the boss of Duel with Palma Strike. Like, I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm supremely confident we're going to win the game with Duel with Palma Strike. And win this fight. All right. Two minutes, I'll make a coffee. I need a chat consensus. Is it remove spot? Is it just impervious? Is it brimstone? I know you guys probably want brimstone, though. Corruption removes spot weakness? That's true. That is true. That is very true. I got my coffee, boys. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do something risky, guys. For the YouTube frogs who want to see me come back, I'm gonna try to put a lot of stock into the infinite. Although, I gotta say, a brimstone video would be kind of sick. I've done those before. But I want to put a lot of stock in my infinite, and I want to buy impervious, and, and really put a lot of stock into this Palma Strike infinite. And I, I kind of want to go infinite against not only this fight, but also the heart. Is that too reckless? Think about it. Spot weakness is very good for long fights. All right, I think it's I think it's impervious. How often people buy this impervious straight up? Is that worth buying? All right, guys, we got. It's hard for me to say. I gotta make a decision. Do I put stock into infinite, or do I put stock into Reaper Reaper dual wielding? I guess I do have fairy in the bottle in the worst case. Fuck, it's so hard to decide. This this game is always hard, guys. This game requires you to be decisive. Well, the number one thing about Slay the Spire, how it applies to life skills, is like making decisions and rolling with it. And you're gonna have to think about after the fact whether or not the decision was correct or not, but you just gotta make a decision. All right, I'm giving myself two more minutes here. Because this is a very important juncture of the run. This is gonna change the run drastically. Is it a brimstone run? Is it a stall and dual wield palma strike? Oh, we need drop. We need sundown or drop kick. You're right. I don't even have drop kick. By itself, it's not even enough. Back when I was more comfortable with the spire brimstone, no problem. But I just don't. I don't even have the energy to like really take advantage of multiple reapers. But I could do brimstone fiend fire lethal. Send it, boys. Say levy. Brimstone, scale up my fiend fire, kill with fiend fire. You can even do Reaper. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I find Reaper, please? Give me Reaper so I can just heal the fool. Imagine healing the fool with this fight. I don't have to imagine. It's a reality. Fiend kills. Fiend kills already? Fiend already kills. Okay. But here's the thing, who wants to draw for... Who wants to draw for Reaper? Because I, I think Reaper healing to full... This is like, for me, what I thought was like my mark as a player in this game, when I was playing a lot, was my ability to really build Reaper stall decks. Taking advantage of like every bit of HP, getting max HP, and then using like stall mechanics to heal back to full in every fight and using that as like a, a, a stopping point that's like one of my favorite things about this game is reaper max hp stalling so i'm right back where i want to be i guess uh we just have to find it we have to find the um the reaper i guess the thing is i want to reaper this thing before i feed it so I'm gonna send it. <laughs> yes. Now of course I could always feed this guy. But let's get some healing. We'll feed them both, right? We're not worried about feeding. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I can kill this. So we, we're going to be minus one feed. Are we happy about that? 
Wait a minute. Minus one feed my ass. Minus one feed my ass. I'm not gonna minus one feed this. We're gonna heal the four and we're gonna feed both. Minus one feed. That's what a that's what a a fool would say, minus one feed. Minus one feed. Okay, well that actually is minus one feed. If I do that, that actually is minus one feed. But we didn't heal the full though. Here it is. Reaper. Reaper double feed. Here it is. You ready? First feed. Hello? First feed. Hello? But wait, I need a feed so I can get the Reaper because I want to heal a fool. No, the fight's... Guys, we're not in trouble at all. We can kill them with one attack. It's not It's not in trouble. I, I guess it's minus one feed, huh? I want to get a... F okay. It doesn't gotta be minus one feed. It doesn't gotta be minus one feed. I can still feed next turn and then redraw into Reaper for this guy. It's fine. It's fine. We'll redraw the Reaper anyways. It's fine. I want to Reaper this person. So, right now we're taking a damage. But Reaper's gonna heal it, no? Because I could just kill and feed now. But I want to Reaper to heal full. I, I, I really want to greet Reaper and feed together. I think it's possible. I think every bit of HP is gonna matter against this fight. By the way, we're gonna Fiend Fire Lethal this guy. We're just gonna scale as much as possible and then Fiend Fire Lethal. That's the goal. If I hit of anything, it ruins my Reaper. And we have a lot of Reaper healing we can do right now. So right now I'm taking eight. That's extremely sad. That's extremely sad. Okay, theoretically, I'm taking... I could theoretically heal this Reaper. But at what point is like, is it not worth it? That point is probably now, right? Does it keep attacking or is it going to stop attacking at some point? Damn. That was so lame. I want to Reaper one more time or do Feed one more time. I could have left not only healthier, but with more max HP. That makes me so sad. This game is brutal. All right, Scene Red versus Spot Weakness. Spot Weakness to keep laying on the strength or Scene Red to have more energy to play things. I don't know about you, but Scene Red seems pretty good in a game where I have Bag of Prep and Centennial Puzzle. Plus, I have Dark Embrace. Um... We upgrade Fiendfire, right? Because Fiendfire is going to be like a win condition against the boss, yeah? The biggest sad thing about this is that Shockwave won't be played more off, uh, pretty short. If I had like an uppercut, maybe I could get rid of some artifacts and stuff like that. Fiendfire is not bad. But what is it more important to have Cardrow or Palmer Strike? Because now if we have Palmer Strike plus, 
Pommel Strike plus we've seen red is a pretty decent uh we now we have like block and energy interlaced. Okay, we got a corruption dragon brace already, but is it too early? Is it too early? Well, that helps us do our infinite. Okay, we don't actually have infinite. I, okay, we don't have infinite. We don't have an energy way to do infinite, but we could do... We don't have infinite. I need a way to get energy. I need sundial. The problem with doing this, guys, the problem with doing corruption now is that it makes it so that dual wheel is only one-time use. So one-time use dual wheel is going to be a reaper, I guess. And then we, we just cut it stall, 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 and then we kill a fiend fire. So the goal here is to kill a fiend fire, but here's the problem. Without vulnerable, how the hell do I kill a fiend fire in time? And my armaments has to hit fiend fire exactly, otherwise, you know, it also gets exhausted. But how are we going to kill this guy without vulnerable? Fiend fire takes too long to scale up. Am I right or am I wrong? Because we can theoretically just do Dark Embrace. Just anger up and use Brim. I can never get vulnerable on this guy, can I? It's just impossible. I would have to do... Alright, they're about to steal. Let's draw some cards. Let's see what's going on here. Let's draw some cards. We got the dual wheel reaper. It's here. That's fucking sick. That's exactly what we want, no? That is exactly what we want. What's up, AC? Or dual wheel pommel strike. And go for our, like, two... <laughs> it's not even infinite, but it's close to infinite. Alright, in this fight, Dual Wield Reaper makes more sense. Because Palmer Strike... We have too many cards to exhaust before we can do Palmer Strike stuff. And besides, it's only three energy worth. There's nothing. Try to get Shockwave. Because if I can do Shockwave into Shockwave Reaper, I just get a massive heal right now. But also, I kind of want to draw out the Fiendfire. So now they're going to steal the Fiendfire, but that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Fiendfire feed, they're stealing that. That's actually, that's actually good. Actually, that's bad because I want to armament the Fiendfire. That's kind of bad. Because I want to armament Fiendfire. About to suggest do a problem strike. It's it's interesting because we have do a problem strike when the deck's all infinite. But I feel like Reapers can do do a lot for us. I want to get vibrating out of the deck, but I think just doing this makes more sense. It's a lot of life. Uh, one of them is gonna have my fiend fire, so I need to kind of start attacking them because I need them to die, so I can use armaments on fiend fire because that is our way to kill. I, I attacked the wrong one. I attacked the wrong one. No worries. But what if I just kill this guy? Get my fiend fire, armor mince it. Or do I keep them alive for Reaper? I think I keep them alive as Reaper targets, no? All right, here's what we can do, boys. Reapers a bait, just kill them, you think? Is that what you're thinking? Cause I it's okay, we're gonna draw a lot, don't worry. We have Pommel Strike, we have Battle Trance, we have Dark Embrace, and we have Centennial Plus. So we're gonna draw Bash again, don't worry. You went to South France a few days ago, some of evenings in Bungalow, watching your streams on YouTube, good memories. Hey, nice, man. So by watching my stream, it gives you back to the South of France.
You want to keep him for Reaper? I'm thinking I just kill this guy now. So that I could uh, upgrade the Fiend Fire. But maybe that's a bait. Maybe upgrading Fiend Fire is a bait. There are a lot of health there, right? We're not going to have an upgraded Fiend Fire, but who cares? I mean, I can keep armaments. I guess I could theoretically keep Armin so I can save it for Fiend Fire, but it's not that important. This guy, I have so much damage, it's not that important. Alright, would you guys do Battle Trends now? It's a waste of draw, but it gets me closer to using... To getting closer to Bash, because our main goal is to get Bash again. We get Bash again, once we Bash this guy, we, he's in Fiend Fire Lethal Range. So the whole point of doing Battle Trends now is so that we can get closer to Bash. We need this for the Fiend Fire turn. So we can do this now to get closer to Bash, and then do Fiend Fire with like less cards, but vulnerable, or just save this, get Bash anyways, and then just save this for the Fiend Fire turn, I guess. How... I don't think it's gonna matter, I think Fiend Fire's gonna, I think, I think this is relatively solved. I think it's relatively solved. I think we're good. I think we're good. So, even if we take damage here, we have Reaper. In fact, I almost wish that I took more damage so I can Reaper in this turn. I almost want to take more damage, right? Because we're going to Reaper, right? So let's take the damage. Alright, question is, do we need more Angers, though? This fight's over. This fight's over. This fight is over, guys. Oh, our bash! No! Wait, that's bad. That's really bad. That's really bad. It's okay, I can heal this up. It's, it's okay. It's okay that he's hitting me now. Uh, they already, they already kind of, they kind of already served their purpose. They already served their purpose. They already did the thing that they needed to do. They served their purpose. Uh, we want to we want to finish with Reaper, no? Or did you guys want to finish? With, I want to finish with Fiend Fire or Reaper. All right, I didn't get maybe I should have. I, I, I think I should be greeting feed more often. You guys should tell me to greet feed more often. I feel like. Uh, we're gonna draw Reaper, right? If we don't draw Reaper, we're kind of sad about that.
We're gonna draw Reaper, right? No. This was an easy feed, though, for sure. Ah, a couple mistakes. Like, I could probably have fed or got a, a final Reaper, but it's fine. Oh my god. To add to the trifecta, you're giving me Barricade. Does Barricade make sense here? Not really, because the enemies are getting strength, so none of my block stays. But there's a world where you're like, well, I have Corruption, Dragon Brace, add Barricade to the mix. Now we just have Corruption, Dragon Brace, play all the skills, all the block stays. Or you can say, fuck it, more Reapers. Brimstone Reaper all the way, baby. But then we have Barricade Clay. Exactly. Barricade Clay. We also just have like Corruption, Dark Embrace, so we can just do play all the skills and just win the game. You can do so many things. It's such if I need the big block cards. Is it though? And we barely have block in this deck. That's just too situational. You're like, okay, we have Barricade for the Clay. We take, we face tank it. We want to face tank anyways because by face tanking we use our health pool with Reaper. And then we now we have that block. And we can solve that problem by actually getting... You know, I'll do it. I think it's Slaver's Caller. What does this deck want? It wants more energy, no? Sacred Break doesn't work on Fairy in the Bottle. We want more energy. I think for hallway fights, we're probably going to be trying healing off Brimstone Reaper stuff anyways, so the hallway fights are not a big deal. But we want energy for the boss fights. Now, a, po a pyramid's like... allows you to hold on to Fiend Fire. Kind of invalidates some of the Dark Embrace things we, we could do. Also, I could use Slave's Color, and if I remember the glitch, I can get infinite energy. Which I'll never do. Alright. Let us uh, decide the path. I want to do all the elites. One, two, three. Get a late shot. This is perfect. One, two, three. Elites and a late shot. Seems perfect to me. But let's see what else we got offered. We got two elites over here. For me, I want all the elites. So get some events. Maybe some hallways. But two events are not bad. There's some good events in this Act 3. So you got to ask yourself, what's better? Three events or two events? So what events are in Act 3 that we want? We want the one that says, give me infinite gold, right? And then we just... So we go three events. We get less feeds that way. I'm sorry, guys. Um... She locked herself out of her room. Okay. So, do you guys think two events or... Sorry. She locked herself out of the room. I was trying to help her get back in. Two events or three? What do we? What, what's the consensus? There's Mind Bloom. Okay, Mind Bloom, we're going to do that, right? Do so you think I need to feed more enemies is what you're saying? I'm going to go three events. This is a hard fight. See, this is bad because I don't get enough feeds. But I can get Infinite Reapers. Infinite Reapers. This fight is my worst enemy. This fight is my worst enemy. But I make up for it with Reaper. Yeah, I like cards that are trash when they're, you know, normally, but then they they make up for it. There's a barricade that Stupid little barricade. Tricks are for kids. Alright. So. I mean. I mean I have to shockwave cleave. But is it ever shockwave defense? With reapers in my deck. I should be happy to take damage right? Yeah. We're going to be fine. How about this? How about this? We always shockwave. But I'll say this, I think I can block because the longer I stall, no problem, because I have Reapers in the deck. What's up, what's up Sam, how you doing? So let's take... Hmm, it's either Cleave... And take the damage, which is probably... Yeah, let's do it, take the damage, take the damage, take the damage, let's do it. The goal is to Reaper, but also end with one feed. Because I've been slacking on feeds. There was a couple of... I have two feeds in the deck. Look at my max HP. This is a guy with two upgraded feeds, and this is my max HP. I've failed my mission. The side quest has been failed. I should have infinite max HP right now. I 
I should have infinite max HP right now. Okay, I really want to draw into dual wield. Alright, it's fine. I want to do it with Reaper. Actually, I don't need to. Some Lego Legends. Have you played the human mod? No, what's the human mod? Is that a new character? Alright, do we dual wield Palmer Strike so we can draw Reaper? Yes or no? What's the consensus? We need some bodies for Reaper. Can we just ignore Reaper? We have other fights to heal off of, right? And feed is so hard to come by, I feel like. Reaper's representing a lot of healing, but I can also just feed. All right, we have Inflame Plus. Is that worth the one energy? Old Jeremy would have 200 max HP right now. But this is a good baseline. It's a good baseline. Uh, is Inflame Plus worth it? I think with Brimstone, it just slows us down. Plus, it's not good against Awakened One. It's so hard to skip a Green Inflame. We have Awakened One, which doesn't really care. We have, so we could do Wild Inflame some, some, sometimes. Do Wild Inflame sometimes. We have so many cards we want to play, though. We got this, right? We got this, yeah? Surely? Why am I acting scared? I've been burned by these guys before. Confidently enter. We got this. Slaver Color works, right? No, no, it doesn't work. This is not an elite fight. Slaver Color doesn't work. You know, some people, some people don't need this. I don't need the Rare Relic. Rare Relic reads Dead Branch. Dead Branch reads yes. But is, is it scary? You guys are scared? You guys are scared. It also reads... If I lose, it wouldn't be the first time that I've lost to these guys. I want to draw first because I really want to hit Corruption early. Problem is if I draw Corruption early, and then I can't play Dark Embrace Corruption together. So this is kind of a weird mixed bag. Like, you want this? It's going to ruin some tenant puzzle, sure. And if I draw corruption, I'm sad. I kind of want to draw corruption now. I want to double feed these guys. I'm greedy as heck. Oh, sheesh. Fiend Fire kill right now? Nah, let's greed them a little bit, right? Let's greed them a little bit. Plus eight. Let's do a little greedy greed. How are we going to get feed to go off, though? I would have to do anger. Do wield anger. That's so greedy. Ugh. I can't, guys. I can't do double. I can't do plus eight. I can't. Because there's no way I'm drawing them in time. Yeah, there's no way. But I do want to do dual with anger and just smack, 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 smack. Do with the feed. Do with the feed so we can get them sooner. You guys are crazy. But that might just be correct. If you want a plus eight, dual will feed is the way to do it, right? I'm with it. I'm with it, buddy. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm here with you. I'm here with you.
Please don't draw Reaper now. If I draw Reaper now, I'm gonna cry. Hell yeah. Okay. Small error, small problem. Small problem is that I can block, but if I draw Reaper, I'm crying, no? It's not worth it if I draw Reaper. It's just not worth it. If I draw Reaper, we're, we're, we're super sad. So it's, it's only a one in six. It's one in six too many. One in six too many. Feed time. Feed, where are you? Feed, where are you? Okay, is it lethal? Almost perfect Nunchaku. It was almost perfect Nunchaku. Unfortunately, Nunchaku is wasted. But I can't be mad. It's plus eight. Wait, was this better than anger? Could I have gotten Nunchaku with this and. Oh no! Instead of anger, I do this and it's perfect Nunchaku. Anger ruined it. Just do that, boom. Oh yeah, we were almost perfect. Plus eight. What? This this is the rare you give me? Are you kidding me? Okay, but Sentinel is unironically decent, right? Sentinel is unironically decent. Uh, surely Sentinel is considerable. But there's Uppercut. And you notice that we want to get rid of Artifacts and we want to have Weaken. And Uppercut says those things. Artifacts, Strip, and Weaken. Right? But... Fiend Fire everything and go Infinite Anger with Top? Infinite Anger with Top. Wait, that's a thing. So, uh, Apricot's better, right? Apricot's better because it has a dumps my strength. Plus, it also puts weakened into the mix. Do you guys think we have the energy for Apricot? Yeah, we, we have the Abacus Anger Infinite. So that's something we can think about. I'm not sure if I like Uppercut that much. Unupgraded. Two energy. Sentinel's a much better fit. Okay. Sentinel's a much better fit, but only after Corruption's in play. It served its purpose. Hey, thank you. Fire breathing, you were great when you how, for however long you lasted. I you, you were there for triple century. I did five elites act one. I appreciate your service. And why do I need you now? Okay, now these are not the events I was hoping for. This is this is not enough. I feel like one seventy four is at the point where like, you know what? I'd rather keep my gold. Get that shop, maybe get a nice relic. All right, let's go. Fiend fire. 
We want to feed, right? Feed is super important here. Oh, that's a sick fiend fire. We have another feed in the deck, don't we? That sets up for feed. What if I drew the feed though? Okay. No, I'm saying if I drew the feed, that would have been bad, is what I mean. Alright, we have Entrench. Let me explain what's talking about with Entrench. Entrench, Barricade, Dark Embrace, Corruption. Is it getting too crazy? You play a Barricade, you get a whole bunch of block with self harming Clay because the heart is attacking you. Ah! Reaper to heal back up. Entrench to make that double. Entrench is one of those cards you put in the deck and it seems like a troll, but then you realize, I have a lot of card draw. I have a Barricade randomly sometimes. Sometimes I have self harming Clay. Entrench could just do things. And we got Boats in the mix. Alright, let's go. I mean, th this deck is called Gas. Gas Pedal, right? So we always do Corruption and just go Gas. Right? But do I want to do Fiendfire right away? If I say Fiendfire later, it's lethal later. But it's also just damage now. We can just kill with like angers and feeds and stuff. Okay. Calipers? Maybe Fiend Fire should have saved. It has a lot more value later on, huh? Okay, this is the power of Corruption Gaming. Alright, so against this fight, it's hard to feed. So you know what you do to make it so it's less hard to feed? You do wield the feed. That's right. Abacus, right now, and it's okay that they're not in the shuffle because what it is is I don't I don't want, I can't kill anyways because he's invulnerable, and on the redraw I get feed anyways. Wait, I'm drawing too much here, but I got entrench. and now we kill a feed. Holy shit, is gorgeous. It's, it's picture perfect. The only problem is Lenchaku. Oh, it was lethal? My bad. So caught up in doing barricade that I missed lethal. So much for picture perfect. The feeds are coming, baby. Okay. So, Heavy Blade dumps your strength with Brimstone. Is that something I'm going to need? Am I going to need the strength dumping to kill the heart in time? Because against the heart, I want to be 200 damage, 200 damage, heal big Reaper, 200 damage. You know what I mean? Fairy in the bottle to protect my ass. Is this worth it? I might have missed him, Chango. It is what it is. I'm getting excited. You think I do need the Heavy Blade? To make sure I smack the heart. Okay. I have so many things going on here. Second Dark Embrace. We realize Dark Embrace is so integral, right? 
the, in the Dark Embrace corruption combo is so integral, why not just add a second Dark Embrace? So it's, for me, it's Dark Embrace or Skip. Somebody says Heavy Blade blows, you have anger. The other person says it's cringe. Another person says Heavy Blade seems good. We were just pretty divided. I know Snape is going to come in here and Snape is like, I see Heavy Blade, I I've arrived. I like Heavy Blade to make sure I do 200 damage against the heart. Because why, why would you want to play Angers to bloat your deck against the heart, which costs damage to the face? We can just do a Heavy Blade. All right, let's do... um. You know what? I have an idea. I'm going to do Armaments, Dual World, Fiendfire. So I think Fiendfire should be really strong against this fight to, to, get, to get the one shot. The alternative is to do Armaments Bash, so he's vulnerable for the rest of his life. This also helps me get damage now. And damage now is important because we don't want to stall this fight, right? A couple of things we could do. If we do Duel with Fiendfire, we draw it for the lethal later. With Dark Embrace to draw back. And we can also get Metallicized out. Or we can just do Bash Anger now to start pushing down damage. Why wait? Just do damage. Because the ultimate goal is to do Fiend Feed and not really Fiendfire. Metallicized is cool, but... What's cooler is doing damage. Although this fight is a fight that takes a little bit long, right? So you kind of want to get the, um... You do kind of want to get the... Like, this fight has a lot of debuffs. It's kind of long. Alright, we can heal up though. We have Reaper. So even if we take damage here, it's no problem, yeah? This is the saddest entrench of my life. This entrench is so sad that I think I'm gonna save it for later. This entrench can get a lot more value later on. Like, six value is horrible. So yeah, I'll take damage, but it's okay. We have Reapers in the deck. We're fine. Alright? Said actually this guy multi-attacks. So if I take too long, it's not good. It might be worth just doing bludgeon. I don't think I want to stall this guy too much. You know what I mean? Like, I can get Barricade out of my deck so I don't have to worry about it. Then I play the defend. It doesn't really stay, but whatever. And then... And then we can do like entrench stuff later. Set it up now, sure. But then... Wouldn't it be better to just do bludgeon? And go for the kill with things like Fiendfire and stuff. Just go for the kill. Let's go for the long call. The long haul is like, okay. The multi decks are happening now. The Reapers are here. But I don't have the energy to do Reaper stuff. That's the problem. And you want to do some Fiendfire kills, huh? Alright, but once the defaults wear off, we're good. I want to draw defense now so you can take advantage of him in trench. What if I just Reaper again? How many feeds do I have in the deck? That's my last feed. I think I'm killing with Fiend first. I don't know if I can get feed on this guy. And I don't want to. I want to draw Fiend Fire next turn. I'm wondering if I should do Entrench now. I can Fiend Fire into feed next turn, right? So I don't want to draw Fiend Fire right now, right? Don't draw Fiend Fire, please. Don't, don't drop Fiendfire, please. And next time we do Fiendfire, Fiendfire Feed and win.
I don't want to do too much because I want to still get him within feed range, right? I'm worried about drawing feed prematurely. Let's just do this. Let's heal. Before we feed. Don't draw feed. Draw speed's not the end of the world, actually. Let's heal. Also, oh, we lose Ninchaku. But Ninchaku is kind of hard to maintain, anyways. Go, go, Esther. How you doing? Oh, I could have used this for five. Hey, it doesn't matter. Alright, now Body Slam's in the picture, but do we need Body Slam? Yes, theoretically we're gonna have blocks sometimes, but it's too convoluted. We have other ways to be doing damage. This is a skip. We can agree this is a skip, right? I mean, if I, ha I was if I was leaning more into the Entrenched Barricade stuff, maybe I would say Body Slam, sure, but... And how many fights is Body Slam gonna save me? I mean... Eh, I think it's too... situational. Because I don't even think that block game is really that strong most of the time. Alright boys, two more elites. This looks like another Fiendfire fight. Wow, the first time I've had full energy the whole game. Oh, it feels great. Okay. I want to save Fiendfire for lethal later. So what do we do now? This girl's tricky. Let's give you a cute little fire pot. You see Reaper Fodder? Is that what you're seeing? You're seeing Reaper Fodder. You're seeing Reaper Fodder. Darker Blaze always wants to be played. If I do it in Bane, I get my Centennial Puzzle now. Okay, so what are we trying to draw if we draw a Centennial Puzzle now? Fiendfire! Just control the daggers and then you're good. We can do Pommel Strike Fiendfire. Just to get the damage rolling. What do you think? Pommel Strike Fiendfire just get the damage going. And kill her with Reaper Feed. Or is that too aggressive? We can finish it off with Scene Red. Scene Red into Shockwave. You know? If I just go now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna have 81, 81 plus 12, 93 damage. 93 damage. But then we have daggers looking down us, down our throat, right? Daggers gonna be staring down our throat. And that's not very good. I don't know. But here's the thing. I could also just use them for Reaper fodder. So if I take damage, I can Reaper no problem. And this is like an 81 damage Fiendfire right now, and it also thins out my deck. It makes my deck super clean, so that I'm gonna draw... And once you have Corruption, Dark, and Bracelet Line, we're good. I think we just... I think we just go for it. But are you guys worried that we're gonna have to take too much damage from the daggers? I want to keep Palm Strike because I think it does max damage, but also it... The Cleave is nice to keep around, you're right, because it helps kill these uh, these things. I don't want to get rid of the Palm Strike. I 
No, there's no hallway fight. I have another lead right after, right? And um, yeah, keep keeping the, the boss, the, the minions, it's a little bit risky. If you control the daggers, not much can go wrong. So you don't, you still want to, you want to save on the fiend fire. You guys are that worried. You guys are that worried. All right, a little worry, McGee's. Sure. Sure thing. Be worried. Fine. Okay, what about Duo Will Cleave, though? Yeah, killing the daggers is easier. Leaving them alive is cooler. I kind of want to upgrade barricade here. Should we try drawing one more one more block before we play in trench? Yes or no? Feed was in the drop pile. All right, fight's over. Happy days. Fight is over. Fight is over. Happy days. Ah, but I don't want to... I want to feed this girl, but then... I got rid of my only feed. I got rid of my only feed. I'll drop back into it, right? I'll try back into feed, right? She's 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 vulnerable for days. Oh, we got a potion belt to hold on some more fairies. And remember, remember the uppercut we saw, guys? Well, look at this. That's a green uppercut. But that's also a pummel. Pummel says, I exhaust and I do brimstone to the face. Oh my god. But there's a green uppercut. And then there's a pummel. And there's two ways we could do this. I think uppercut probably makes sense, but again, my energy is not perfect. But still, having an artifact stripper plus maybe weaken to save my ass. Pummel. So we have Pummel in the chat. We also have Uppercut in the chat. We're divided. But how important is weak when my goal is to heal damage and then kill them quickly? So my, I'm killing, killing them quickly and I'm healing damage with Reaper. So how important is weak? I guess the heart weak is pretty good. Matryoshka. Okay, these are shit. But you take the key. Take the mask. Saves me 25 gold. Alright. Is there a lead that we're scared of?
Hell no. These are jokes. Okay. Um, full gas, or okay, hear me out. Full gas, or just go metallicize, 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 metallicize. I kind of want to do with feed, so we can do the same same thing we did last time, where it's like help me find feed in time. You know, there's also Ninchaku. I can do dual wield anger to get Nunchaku value. So anger, 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 Nunchaku, pommel strike. Right? <laughs> I kind of want a pommel strike. See what I draw. Whoo! Okay, dual wield dark embrace. It's overkill. Get it out of our draw. Corruption's here. Nom 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 nom. Centennial puzzle. Bum 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 bum. Oh, all the things, all the things. Draw. Yes. Okay, now that's a little bit awkward. Because I want to draw barricade. If I draw barricade. I could upgrade it, get my entrench, live happily ever after. I want to do Reaper just to get plus one draw. Reaper says cost one, draw one. If I do battle and I don't get barricade, then the entrench is extremely sad. So how confident are we feeling, boys? That if we do... So we can either hit... Feed... Can hit the fence. So it's in our favor to draw into barricade. Like I would say This guarantees it, no? The problem is it it's fine. This this is fine. What better thing to do? What better thing to do than to full block on a turn where I can't attack him? And now we go ham. Ham time. This isn't that ham. Can I go hammer? If so many feeds. That's ham and cheese. Shuriken. Is slow, but okay, I'll take it. So we have Double Tap Havoc Clash. Double Tap says, Hey, you see that Reaper? I play it twice. Otherwise, it's like, it's a skip. Because I feel like Double Tap, situational, in the right hand, it makes sense, but what about the hands where it doesn't make sense? You could do Double Tap on Uppercut. Matter of fact, you do double tap fiend fire with dark embrace. Are you having trouble killing something? Double tap fiend fire, exhaust your whole deck, exhaust two hands, and win the fight. There's situations. Yeah, but here's the thing: everything looks attractive when you when you put the prefix corruption dark embrace. But you gotta look at it, okay? But what about when I don't have corruption dark embrace? What is it doing for me? Because everything looks attractive. It's like, oh, if you have Corruption Dark Embrace, you could add this skill. Well, yeah, skills look better when you have Corruption Dark Embrace. What, is it, what does it do for me? Double tap Pommel Strike. Okay. Double tap Pommel Strike. We're not on three energy, we're four energy. Because for all we matter, the only fights that matter is the fights that we go against bosses. So we're four energy deck. Havoc on Fiend Fire is brutal. Double tap Palmer Strike could be good sometimes. 
Double tap uppercut could get rid of. So imagine a world where I double tap uppercut to get that weaken. I'm doing it. All right. I know you guys are like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I did it. I did it. All right. I saw a couple situations where a double tap could be nice. Maybe it's too, maybe too niche. The damage is done. Hmm. Double tap shuriken. Ooh. The synergy no one cares about. All right, what do we do here? These guys are just, they're also full gas. We share one thing in common, it's called gas. We're on the same diet, full beans. Okay, I wanna see if I draw into corruption first. Okay. I can't not play this. You can't just show me Dark Embrace and I can't play it. I'll take the damage to the face, no problem. We have Reaper to heal things up. Or not. Here we get Corruption always. Okay, now here's the thing. Imagine this wasn't Double Tap, this was Corruption instead. And now you're seeing the problem. Therein lies the problem. Because this is a fight where I would love to play Barricade. The bludgeon is bad. The bludgeon can give it removed for plus 10 max HP, imagine. Just bludgeon this guy, boom, done. Corruption's in the mix. Bludgeon, boom, done. But there's a world where I do pummel strike, draw into corruption, defend, 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 draw into scene red. How about this? Ascender Spain. Okay, but now I need to find the scene, right? Otherwise, this play doesn't make sense. Because I just talked about it. But without scene red, it doesn't seem that good. I mean, it still has to get corruption out anyways, right? But if I do double tap pummel strike, I'm guaranteed to find scene red at that point, right? Surely, right? Okay, do I have enough cards? Um, I don't have enough space for all this, do I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm, I'm short space. Does that matter? Does it matter? Can't miss? Please, give me the thing. You know what I'm talking about. It's there. It's arrived. Okay, but at this point I can just feed. I get my shuriken, but barricade. My shuriken. Shuriken. That turn was perfect. Got everything I wanted. And plus one strength. Time to feed, baby. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to feed on th all three of them. Ah, this is, a, this is plus... Wait, this is supposed to be feeding all three. Whoops, minus 4 HP. I lost so much HP this run. My Nunchaku! Okay, Shrug it up is nice. Shrug it off is nice. Tell me that card is not nice. More shockwaves or shrug it off? Shrug it off is just nice. My first one of the run. That's a nice card, huh? 
But hear me out. It kind of just delays you from drawing corruption, dark embrace. Oh, you're saying shockwave. That's what you want me to hear you out? More shockwaves? I don't know. There's, there's, like a, there's some argument to be made like you'd rather be seeing these powers before you see Shrug It Off. But at the same time, it's also... It's also not bad. Alright, boys. 350 gold. What do we got? More pommel strikes? First, let's remove this strike. How about can we all agree that we want to remove the strike? Like, there's no argument here to be had about whether or not the 50 gold is better used elsewhere, right? Or how about this? Remove Bash. At least Bash has some merit, because I can remove artifacts and sometimes do But it's expensive. Like, maybe I'd rather move Bash before I move Strike. You think Bludgeon's worth than both Bash and Strike? You think Metallus has okay, Metallus has bottled. No, 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 no. We have a shockwave. We have an uppercut. The bash is pretty unplayable. Bludgeon, at least sometimes with, with vulnerable and armaments upgrade, can one-shot one of the cultists. Or it could do double-tap damage against the Donu Deca. Bash, on the other hand, not really. You think Pendib is worth it? Pendib says, hey, sometimes Reaper is hit affected by Pendib. Reaper Pendib could be really big. The question is, would I want to spend money in Pendib or do I want to just save for the Act 4 shop? By the way, this run is going on way too long. Jesus Christ. But it's my first run back. You know, I'm, a little, I'm just filling things out a little bit. Well, I can't remove Mattel Test because it's bottled, right? I'm pretty sure I remember. If I remember one thing, you can't remove bottled things. So that is kind of permanent. It is what it is. Penip seems pretty decent. Let's remove Bash. Wow, I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. But... <laughs> yeah, I'll allow it, but I can see why they... Okay. Alright, uh, and we'll save the rest of the money then, huh? Unless you think that Swift Pot is worth buying. Also, we have one last question before the, the, the rest. We can go for one more event, which I don't think is positive anymore, versus just taking max HP against this fight. Unless this hallway fight makes me lose HP, and then obviously that's not good, but I think we always go for the max HP, right? Mind Bloom is like the only one. But we no longer get the gold aspect out of it. We only get the rare, the rare relic, yeah? The four feeds on the slam boss. Okay, but Bishop, we're, that's that's fantasy land, isn't it? Okay, what about Palma Strike? Nah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's get out of here. Oh, plus 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 sixteen. Plus sixteen. I don't care, guys. I, I I'm doing it. But I gotta kill this guy in time. That's the problem. Wait. I can do it now with Fire Pot. I might even do Fire Pot just to get this guy out of the way. Yeah, I thought about Speed Pot. Speed Pot is probably worth it, but what if I can get like a nice relic um, in Act 4? I say nice relic. What? Eh. Eh. Okay, using this pot is really bad, but it allows me to feed this guy before he explodes. So this is basically worth plus 4 max HP. Kind of get against the Kaw because you can kill the cultists. I kind of want to see if I draw into Dark Embrace. It's plus 4 max HP. You know what? And we got to make up for our lost... Um, All right, so far plus eight, easy. Uh, I gotta get these guys set up for 
the kill, right? So I should do hemokinesis. Whatever. All right, now we gotta draw barricade, but if you draw it, we can't play it. So never mind. So what do we do here? Chests. Because we want to greed the feed. If I draw barricade, I'm really sad. But I guess that happens sometimes. But if I draw barricade next, I'm even more sad. This is awkward. It's okay. We're fine. We're fine. Do some. Let's do some. Um, corruption might be better. Doesn't it, isn't it feed lethal anyways? Per hit. Or just about. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Gorgeous. Feeds lethal anyways. I guess I, I, was, I was good for Nunchaku. Ah, that was Nunchaku Valley. That was Nunchaku Valley. My bad. That was Nunchaku Valley. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Wow. Alright, now our maxi space is looking somewhere. Alright, that was plus 16. That was an amazing fight. Amazing fight. Plus 16. Plus 1 potion, plus 16. And now we have Sword Boomerang as a Shrink Dumper. And that's one of my favorites. Sword Boomerang is one of my favorite Shrink Dumpers for Brimstone. That one is kind of attractive, guys. A 1 Energy times 3 against the Heart. We have Cultist Pot and Brimstone against the Heart. I'm half tempted. I'm full tempted. Alright, boys. What's the upgrade? Barricade, so I can play on those turns where it's awkward. Or Battle Trend, so I can draw things. Barricade is often a card that is like, I kind of want to play this, right? Alright, boys. 160 max HP, more or less. Good potions. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. So how do I want to play this fight? Do I want to just... I mean... Do we just play all our powers and just go full gas? Is that what we're doing? I mean, I have Kothos as a heal pot, so if I take damage, Reaper it on the heal pots. You guys want to do three feeds? Huh. Hmm. Alright, uh, water time. Three feeds. Let's draw. Alright, weaken on this girl, huh? How about this? Say goodbye to my whole hands. Now that's bad because it gets rid of Reaper. But it's good because it cleans out the whole damn hands. Nah, it's never Fiend Fire here. The chair is very squeaky, I know. I have to do WD-40. I know these are my health pots, so maybe I shouldn't affect- maybe I shouldn't touch my health pots. So, Dark Ambrish is just positive, right? This has got to be. I have Shockwave, Double Tap, Feed. Dark Ambrish has to be positive, though. But I can take damage, these are my heal pots. 
problem is this bird is going to keep attacking me hard. But wouldn't I want to do double the Derek Embrace first? Because I have Nib. I don't need a Shockwave with Nib. You know? So I wouldn't want to play Dark Embrace first to get the card draw out of it. Or is there something we don't want to draw into? Like I'll be worried about drawing prematurely? Because like you could delay the Dark Embrace so you don't draw. And what would we want to delay? We want to like, delay the barricade being drawn or what? I mean why would we want to draw now? I mean there's not we don't really have energy to play things now, right? I guess the only reason you want to draw now is to get Yeah, I'm not sure. We don't really want to draw now. I onto a Reaper if I can. All right, minus one feet. Are you guys okay with that? Yes or no? I feel like we're gonna have to be okay with minus one feed. But not only is this minus one feed, this is minus one health pot. But okay, I can heal up. This, this has a lot of health to heal off of, right? This makes reap. How about this? What if I just leave it alive? Leave it alive because I can reaper off of it. And then on top of that, I get the feed. Like, okay, I know it's doing 10 damage, but let's think about the fact that Reaper's gonna heal off of it anyways. Well, we have to draw into Reaper, of course. Ideally, we want to do dual wield on Reaper. Question is, I don't know if Barricade is positive or not. I don't think Barricade is positive here. I actually think we want to push some damage on the boss. I think we want to kill this boss quickly. So I can get my freaking, um... Because next year we have Corruption. Okay, what about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? Next turn we have Corruption. So if we play Barricade now, we can go Corruption crazy. How's that sound? Just full blast Corruption, but the Entrench is kind of... You want to just do the combo now, right? And just go, yeah, let's do it. 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 Okay, that armaments is kind of sad. This is kind of bad, actually, because I don't have draw next turn. At least not enough. We're fine. We're gonna heal anyways with Reaper. We're fine. This guy's a health pot, right? We're fine. That was an unfortunate use of dual wield, but or non-use of dual wield. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Do I have enough feeds for this? I, I can only get. So do you want to save dual wheel for feed or dual wheel for reaper? Because I kind of want to do dual wheel to warmer ring, super ring, but I don't need super ring to be lethal, right? I could just save dual wheel for reaper or feed. The feed gives me plus four max HP. The reaper, I'm gonna full heal anyways. And we're not like we need this for lethal, right? We're gonna be fine.
Problem is, I want to do the feed now, because I want this guy to be dead. I might have to just live with minus one feed, guys. I think I'm going to have to live with minus one feed. I hate to say it, but I think I gotta live with minus one feed. Sometimes that happens in life. Where you're a minus one feed McGee. If I play these two now, I get short uh, letter opener. It also gives me... Okay, theoretically, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I could have drawn first and then do, do a wield. I'm so silly. I could have drawn, then done do a wield to try to find the plus four max HP button. Imagine if I use my brain there. But imagine. Are we okay with getting rid of all these cards? I kind of want to keep... Wait, doesn't this dual wheel two ring win next fight? Next, next, next... I want to keep uppercut for the vulnerable next turn. But doesn't this dual wheel boomerang win? Next phase? Oh, I should have played Cleave? Cleave, Cleave, Cleave for the Shuriken. If that stops my lethal, I'm going to be so mad. If that stops my lethal, I'm going to be so mad. Beautiful! What's next? Okay. The Donu Deckers. I can never unsee. I can never unsee these dangling, gauged. Nipples. Let's do, um, let's draw, right? Alright. So, Battle Trance first or Shrug it off first? I'm not sure. Does, do all paths lead to Rome here? Everything leads to Rome here, right? I feel like we're, we're so. Sh nothing can go wrong at this point. But I don't want to spew it away. I, I think minus one energy is kind of bad. Because we want the energy for the expensive things. But okay, let's click cards. Okay, click that card. Click this card. Or do we want to take the damage? Get Metallicus out or do we want to take damage? This gives me some leftover block. But I can get exact C's of self and Clay and get Draw. So we get Exaxes, self forming Clay, and Centennial Puzzle. And now we got Dark Embrace. Okay, we got Dual Wield as well. Dual Wield, Dark Embrace draws way too much, right? It's, it's overkill. But Dual Wield, Turbo Boomerang is good for later, huh? Although, I don't want to stall this fight. This, fall is, this fight's crazy. We gotta get Dark Embrace out. Dual Wield, Turbo Boomerang is really good for getting lethal later. Question is, we're gonna feed always, yeah? We have two feeds already, so we can't waste a feed. Reaper's gonna heal us. 
I'm just going to send it. I'm going to trust the process, and I'm going to send it. I'm trusting the process here. I think we're out. I think we're out of the clear. Do we want to draw now? Yeah. I want to draw to scene red, don't I? I don't want to waste because I want to get entrenched, right? So I don't want to waste all my skills. I want to get all my skills with a big entrench. So I should be careful here. Like I shouldn't be wasting my skills willy nilly. I should not be wasting my skills willy nilly. I already wasted so many skills willy nilly, which is not good. It's not good at all to do that. Because entrenched value is actually relevant. Whatever. Too late now. We have Fiendfire with Pennib. Which ruins my feed. It also makes me very sad to ruin feed like that. I have another duel of the deck. It's fine. Uh, the only problem is if this draws. I will double feed. I have another dual wield in the deck. It's fine. The problem is this draws. If this draws my other feed, I'm screwed. So guys, there's no way it draws my other feed, right? There's no way. Okay, I want to do battle trends first. But I got... Oh, you guys want to do double feed, though. That's the thing. Now I'm getting rid of my uppercut. My uppercut's huge, though. But this guy's doing a lot of damage. Ah, but we have Reaper. But I don't want to lose uppercut. Ah, yeah, yeah, there's so many choices. I can Reaper this guy if he hits me damage, you know? So we can save the uppercut, or we can just go for the, the kill now. I get feed. Oh, yes! More feeds. More feeds. Oh, we got entrenched perfectly too. Double tap Reaper. Is this too much damage? This is doing 60. It's perfect, right? 60, so 120, 125. It's getting close, but we're good. And then we kill with feed. And then we have, if we kill with feed, we have perfect Nchaku, perfect Pendim, no? Oh my fucking god, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I miss this game. Sometimes this game is like art. This game is like art sometimes. Alright, let's go. We can't lose. There's no way we lose. We have Cultist Pipe Fairy in the bottle? What's the upgrade? So Boomerang is the upgrade, right? That extra little bit of damage output. Or Fiendfire, because we do Fiendfire for the, the elites. What is it? Um, 
Yeah, we're pretty strong. Got a lot of max HP. Have a pretty strong deck. This Brimstone was a fantastic choice. That was, that was something that's not worth it. Entrench? I haven't, I'm, I'm usually playing Entrench anyways off of Corruption, right? So, Entrench is like my Corruption button. It's not really a card I want to play otherwise. Unless we need it as a pinch with our Boat Relics against the Elites. Let's upgrade our damage. Toolbox, my favorite. Second Winds, my second favorite. Power Pot, my third favorite. Remove my other favorite. Damn, there's a lot of good things here. Toolbox and send it. Second Wind, remove. Second Wind, power pot. Um, this might be another situation where everything leads to Rome. However, what does Toolbox offer me? Probably not enough. Because I can... It's, it's, in, it's in lieu of like... Or it's, it's taking the place of remove second wind. What does second wind do for us? Second wind is not even good, actually. But second wind is not good. It might just be power pot remove. Remove so we can get our powers online. Power pot so we can get more powers online. Might burn too much. Second wind might not even... It's not even good. It's not even good. It's not good. It removes statuses from the heart. That's, that is relevant. Removing statuses from the heart is relevant. Don't get me wrong. That is not inconsequential. Removing statuses from the heart, because I'm going to have a small deck. Let's think about this. I'm going to be exhausting a lot of my deck with, with the corruption stuff. So those statuses are going to... I'm going to feel the effect of them. But I have to save it the second win until after this... It, it seems awkward in practice. You want to remove bludgeon versus removing strike. I, I Doesn't bludgeon still have the same thing where you can double tap it against the elite or whatever? You'd rather just remove strike in that situation? Or are you saying strike is still a one cost card that is better better way to dump your energy? Like, if you have a lot of strength, this one cost strike can make, make the difference. But like, it's so, the numbers are so like, marginal at that point. And I, I don't know, master strategies toolbox, just master strategies, uh, pull the skill, pull, the, pull an attack, panacea. Panacea is probably the best. No vulnerable, I'm happy. All right, Heavy Blade perfectly uses my gold. There has to be some merit to that. There has to be some merit to the perfect utilization of gold with Heavy Blade. That's just so beautiful. Ugh. What do you guys think? As like a final send-off. Does this bloat me? It is a strength dumper, sure. But we already have those in spades. I just have you guys know, okay, it was there. The option was there, okay? It could have been perfect. I need Staven to convince me otherwise. We got Pendant Ball ready. We got our Dark Embrace. We got our Barricade. We got all the powers. This is fine because, again, we're going to be doing Reaper stuff, right? I actually think we don't play anything. I think we just Dark Embrace, Defend, Barricade. Take the damage. And maybe we'll do like a Pendant Reaper to heal back up. Seems seems correct. Does Barricade see play in this fight? It will once I play Corruption, right? Anger Metallicized. Do you want to waste Pendant on Anger? Because you think that you can get an extra card called Metallicize with the Nunchaku? You think the extra energy for the Metallicize is worth it? Reaper's way later. How much later? Aren't we like full gas? How much later are we talking? Fine. You might convince me with this. Unless I decide Pommel Strike to get what card draw. Question is, if I draw cards, what am I drawing? Corruption? I would pop Corruption if I get it immediately. It's Corruption, Dark Embrace, Barricade. Done. I don't have the energy for that. I lied. Don't have the energy for that. This is kind of a, a shitty use of Pendib, because Pendib could do Super Boomerang. But because imagine where I do Pendib, Super Boomerang next turn, and just kill this thing. We're fine. How about we just play the cards? We're fine.
Except for the moment where the artifacts are actually pretty, pretty serious. The artifacts do suck a little bit. Isn't it better to just like slam damage though? Instead of blocking, just slam the damage at this point. How much damage is this actually slamming? How much is this actually slamming? Not slamming enough. A little bit worried here. But we got Reaper to cover our tracks. Double tap uppercut on this thing. Or would you rather uppercut, uppercut this Spire Spear? So. I think we want to kill the Spire Spear instead because the Spire Spear is what's going to be trying to kill us next turn. So we kill that, get it out of the way. Yes, we're going to take damage from this aggressive Spire Shield, but that's okay. We can stall and just do um, Big Reaper later on. Actually, I have an idea. I have a brilliant idea. What if I just do Weak Pot to save the life? It's kind of not smart because you want to save weak for the heart, right? I, I, I want to do double tap uppercut on this the spider spear. Turn around uppercut, but here's the thing. If I do the damage here, it's going to be more beneficial later on to have this. Let's see what we draw first. If I draw Reaper, we're in big shape, right? So, I want to draw Reaper here. How do I guarantee it? <gasps> Wait, can I cancel? No, I want to get it for the exhaust. I want to get Reaper here. Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. My bad. I want to... My idea was, okay, I want to draw one more card with the exhaust, and then I can try to draw it seeing red, and then get the exact thing. I, um, because I also have battle trends. It's okay. Not a big deal. Um, Fiend Fire is better to duplicate, maybe? Or uppercut better to duplicate. I haven't seen the new mods. No, I, I've been away from the game for a while. I haven't seen the new mods. I could, I guess, I did an uppercut so I can upgrade the scroll as well. Should we just Reaper now? It doesn't do shit. This Reaper sucks. But now I need Uppercut because uh, the weak is really important for this guy. Eh, it's nothing. These guys are so bad. I thought these guys were a lot stronger. What the hell? These guys suck. But I need... To do feeds. I don't need to do feeds necessarily, I guess. I thought these guys were a lot stronger, though. I'm going to be honest. We don't need to feed both of them, right? It's inconsequential. Inconsequential to feed both of them. I mean, it'd be nice, but look at this. Imagine if I waited. I might not even get to get the Reaper, but that's fine. You want, you want to know why Reaper's not important? Let me explain why. I have Cultist Pot and Weak Pot and Power Pot. I'm going to play on the first turn anyways. So I don't even need to be full health. I don't even need to be full health. Oh, 
That's positive, yeah? Philippines positive? It's gotta be positive. Philippines gotta be positive. It's called the pack match. It's a pretty huge mod. It adds booster packs to the game. All right. Sounds good, man. Philippines positive. We got dual wield. We got armaments. All right, let's go, boys. Hard time. All right, first and foremost, use our potions, yeah? All right, I wish I had armaments first turn. Do we ever save the power pot for dual wield turn? So let's say let's say we do a wield and we want to do power pot and we want to do a wield. It. Probably not, right? I think we just pop it now. BM the heart, but not using potions. Oh, is that what we're doing right now? Alright, so I have not officially a demon form upgraded every turn. But now it's better for brutality, evolve, and all those things. I agree. I think Duel has other targets like like uh Sir Boomerang. Or a feel no pain. Now if that was dual wieldable, that would have been sick. But if we have two feel no pains in the deck, once we pop Exodia, the game's over. Probably was over anyways. Though I can brace against my draw engine online now. But let's imagine that we're gonna draw through our deck. If we have fairy in the bottle, Feudal Pain just makes it so our draw our Exodia is that much more potent, right? But Dark Embrace said it says, okay, but I can help you get to your cards. And Fiendfire right away? <laughs> Wait, Dark Embrace Fiendfire right away and just get to all your cards? If I Dark Embrace now, I can Fiendfire right now. I get rid of my only Reaper though. Isn't Reaper like a really good resource in this fight? Is Peter is P Peter is uh, he's trying he's he's trying to ruin me, isn't he? But just think about it. Do we actually care about Reaper later on? So first off, we do this. We get we can't do feed in the heart. So we get that rid of that BM. Let's do the sensible thing. All right, you guys want to go for plus? You guys want to go for plus one um, shuriken? Let me make sure that I don't take damage for doing it. One, two, three. I can't. I can't. Um, because I want to get Metallicize out. So no plus one shuriken for me. Because double tap will make this intended plus draw, and I don't want to do that. Wait, I'm so stupid. This gives me block. Double tap feed is fine. It gives me block, which means I can get the extra feed without worrying. Which gives me plus one strength. Alright guys, RIP plus one strength, RIP plus one nunchaku. So double tap feed, I didn't think about feeling no pain, duh. Alright. Whoopsies. Oh man! That's a hand? Kind of awkward timing, sir, because I kind of want to not take damage. But, like, I think I got to play Dark Embrace Barricade and do Weak Pot. Because Dark Embrace Barricade is pretty important. Shockwave is very good. The Vulnerable is insane for this fight. In fact, five turns of Vulnerable, it wins the fight. 
So we gotta ask, is barricade important? Well, yes, because barricade next turn, we're gonna be we're gonna have self forming clay with the multi attack. So we want to keep that block. So now this makes you realize maybe I should have taken dark embrace from the power putt. So we're gonna draw scene red, is what you're saying. Time to go brrrr. Now the only problem going brrrr is that we are frail. But that's the only issue. The other second part is my dual wheel did not hit my power. But we have Show Boomerang to do for the damage. Um, I also don't want to go brrr because I want to take damage first so I can take advantage of the entrenched self forming clay. So I I'm going to say something crazy. We take all the damage, because we don't want to use our blocks when we're frail. Plus, this damage is self-forming clay. <laughs> so we take all of it. Fairy in the bottle has our back, Reaper has our back. We eat it. But first, let's draw. Now we go off. Game's over. Time to pop off. Ay, ay, ay. But here's the thing. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I want to do dual wield on Boomerang anyways, right? But Reaper looks pretty attractive. So if we... Draw first. We could try to draw Reaper so that we could do a wield. But if I miss the Reaper, who cares? I have dual wield Turbo Ring, which is good, anyways. Now you can think about the redraw. Now the redraw basically says, Do you want to put the boomerangs in your redraw? And I think I'm going to cycle through my deck so quickly it doesn't matter. So if I do dual wield now, I get all the boomerangs in my shuffle. Which is important. But if I draw Reaper, who cares? I only need one Reaper. So let's do this. Wait, what? I just shuffled out all the boomerangs. I, that's a, I forgot that that's going to draw one card. It's okay, we're going to draw into our deck no more. No, no, it doesn't matter. We're going to draw into our deck. It's all good. It's all good. We draw into our deck anyways. It's all good. Wait, we, we, we do this now because we want we want to hit entrench, right? Alright, we'll draw into our deck anyways. Alright, I need uppercut, 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 uppercut. Fiendfire. Brrr. Reaper. Brrr. Beautiful.
I'm gonna free you, fairy. Don't worry. You will be free. Be free, my fairy. But let me feed the heart. How much is this? One twenty thirty-six. We're good, right? One twenty thirty-six. One fifty-six. We're fine. All right, my first run back in a long time. It's got all the things I like: max HP. The region, the brimstone, the corruption, dark embrace, and five elites. Act one, my lord. Act one, five elites was incredible. I almost didn't take brimstone too. What a mistake that would have been. GG.